Hello beer fans, here Brewing Company here with The Wife. Today we're going to be trying Rheingeist, which is Cincinnati, um, OH. I-O. Bubbles Rosé Ale. This is ale with apple, peach, and cranberry. So in my head, I'm thinking that this is really just going to taste like a cider. Um, Me too. Bubbles Rosé Ale. <clears throat> is a bright, dry, and a lithe rosé ale with apple, peach, and cranberry for tartness and blush. <laughs> uh, bubbles erupts Do you with want me to read it? Ever, ever essence and evanescence. Effort. <laughs> so it sounds like a bunch of like wine terminology right there is what I heard. That sounds like a little frou-frou-y for you. And it's oh, pink. Oh, it's pretty pink. Okay. It's, it kind of looks like wine to me. Bubbles. Mm. Cheers. It smells, smells like wine. <laughs> it smells like wine. Tastes like wine. It does kind of taste like a wine mixed with cider. Bubbly. Bubbles. This? It does taste like a wine mixed with a cider. I could drink this. It's a little tart. It's actually ale, so it's still considered a beer. It's pretty. It this does may have be a tart. my favorite beer ever. In that it case. does have a tart. Like now that I'm not drinking it, it's uh, it is. It, it tastes like cranberry the, juice. Yeah, in the back of the yeah, right mouth. here, it tastes it's like off. cranberry juice. It does have a cranberry finish? Yeah. Yes, I would say that. Like, and you're not even expecting it. Like, I've mm -hmm. already done. I'm done drinking it, and then bam, then that gets you. Yeah, there's a tart. Hmm. So, did you taste any of the <clears throat> uh, the apples or peach? Hmm. I could taste the apple. It, it's more reminiscent of a cider to me than it is a wine. Um, hmm. So, but not, I don't know, quite as thick as a cider. Ciders aren't really thick, but this no. is, um, I don't know, it's missing some, like the thickness on your mouth, kind hmm. of. Not the actual texture, but I like it. 6.2%, so it's actually higher than a cider. A typical cider is about 5%. So, so it's more, more alcohol content. Mm -hmm. Good to know. Yeah, yeah. What's the IBU or what's, uh, it doesn't say the IBUs in here. I don't know, but we, um, had some friends mm -hmm. yeah. that gave us this. The shells. I would like it. The shells. <laughs> they thought that I would like it. They were right. They were right. Good call guys. Thanks Amy and Brian. Yep. Thank you. Shells. You going to write it? Rate it? Yeah, I'm going to write it. <laughs> uh, so the rosé ale in, in that category, because I have had other rosés, um, ales. Uh, so in that category, I would, from 0 to 10, I would give this a score of probably a 6.5. Okay. Well, I don't have a rosé scale. I have a like this if, is the beer channel. If you can scale. imagine, if you can imagine somebody spit into a cup a hundred times, like that's that zero, okay. And then like the best tasting thing out there is ten. Okay, that's your scale. I wasn't questioning the scale. Yeah, I was saying I don't have a rosé scale. I've never had one of these, mm -hmm. so I would say on the beer scale of the beers that we have tried for this. Which we're all have been Series. different so far. Right. This one's my favorite. I give this a 10. You can't, a 10? There's no, yeah. room for, there's no room for improvement. I give it a 10. I can give other things a 10 as well. It doesn't have to be oh, only okay. 10. Yeah, I guess so. This is a 10. I would drink this. She's pointing at me I and will... said this is a 10. Oh, <laughs> that. This is a 10. Oh, I see. But I'll finish this one. You can have something else. Great. Join us next time as we try other stuff that the shells gave us. Ooh. 
Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.